All right, so uh, keep going here. We're on number 20. Which of the following correctly ranks the elements bromine, germanium, selenium, and zinc in increasing electron affinity? So let's identify those elements on the periodic table. Bromine, germanium, selenium, and zinc. Oh, how convenient. They're all in the same row, of course. Okay, and so uh, increasing electron negativity. What elements want more electrons? More electrons, more back. More? Elements on the right of the periodic table, right? Bromine really wants to become, as you guys know, Br minus, so it can have an electron configuration as krypton. So bromine is going to be the highest, and so it's going to go in that left to right order. And so it's going to be this one, zinc, germanium, selenium, bromine. Next one is talking about orbital diagrams and which one has an error. So first, let's just count number of electrons. Did they get the number of electrons correct on these? Beryllium total has four valence electrons, or four electrons. And, and it's not showing you there's just valence. It's showing you the total electron configuration, right? It has a 1s here. One, two, three, four. Good. Neon has 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 because it's element number 10. That seems good. At least the total number of electrons is good. Carbon has 2, 4, 6. That seems good. And oxygen has 2, 4, 6, uh, 8. That's also oxygen's number 8. So they didn't screw up the number of electrons. So it's something more complicated. Let's see beryllium. Beryllium, they went spin up, spin down. Then they went 1 in the 2s and then 1 in the 2p. That's not right. They need to put the other one here in the 2s, right? Not here, because the 2s is lower in energy. And look, it's in the s block. So that one's not right. So that's then not our answer. We're looking for the one that is correct. Okay. Neon, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. What the heck? Up, up. No, it needs to be up, down. That's wrong. Can't have two electrons with the same quantum numbers. These would both be spin up. They'd both be, what would the quantum numbers be for both of those electrons spin up? N equals two, L equals one, because it's a P orbital. M sub L, you could give it whatever you want, but it's gonna be plus one, zero, or negative one. Let's call it plus one. And both of those would have plus one half because they're spin up. Can't do that. You have to have one of them plus one half, one of them minus one half. Carbon, uh, up, down, up, down, up, down. Not right. This needs to follow Hun's rule seats on the bus rule, right? You want to minimize electron-electron repulsion. You're in the same set of orbitals here in the two Ps. And so you want to uh, fill these up in this order. Let me draw the boxes. If you're to fill up neon, up to neon, like going from boron to neon, if you fill it up, you go up, 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 or you could go down, 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 but up, up, up first, and then down, down, down. You want to minimize, so nitrogen, would definitely have something that looks like this, right? And the two Ps. These are the two Ps, guys. Just doing some other examples. This would be neon, and this would be nitrogen. Anyway, that's Hun's rule, seats on the bus. Hun's rule is violated there. Auction better be right. Spin up, down, up, down, up, down, and up, up. Yeah, they filled it right. Up, down, up, down, up, 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 and then down, correct. Very good. 